What's up, everyone? <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the Riverman, and welcome back to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So, to round up our last time, we managed to sally and attack the city of Lisbon, which is now ours and is producing horrendous amounts of cash. Um, however, the Spanish did counter land and take Gibraltar, and one of our other targets will be Tangier. Because Tangier has, it grows, it grows a few ports and a few towns, it, it can be useful, but the main thing is it's a re, it's an achievable military target for us. Because their quality of troops is pretty poor, and it also opens up an avenue, a potential avenue to expand um, along the North African coast. Although it might not be a bad idea if we secure this land to just launch an attack on uh, Great Britain, <laughs> because... Well, why not? We've got an avenue, and this is a very valuable, valuable region. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, so instead, let's put my spy up near Paris to keep an eye on and the the, uh, the Prussians. It looks like they're starting to have some problems from morale, but let's get my agent down here. Because I'll need him to start converting the population of Morocco. Good. I'm currently spending all of the money I have every turn on various bits and pieces. It's tempting to maybe experiment with going to another region. But I'm loath to build up an army to then have locked away in another theatre. Especially when our trade, you know, our dependence on trade isn't good. Um, Valletta is not. We're not earning enough money to have a trade empire. Or to even support a trade empire. That's kind of the problem at the moment. But right now I want to solidify my gains in on the Iberian Peninsula. Take Spain. I'll have a look at the, the um, politics behind attacking... Morocco. Yeah, I want these guys to actually keep rebuilding before attacking the city. And everything's been... Oh, I need to rebuild the artillery building. And finally, the cottage. And let's also build the drill school, which I need to get fire by rank. Um, I can't crew anything there. Obviously can't recruit anything here, and I don't have Cadiz anymore. Which is a shame, um, but yeah, it's understandable I think for now we're just going to be burning turns. Because we've got nothing really to do. <laughs> well we've got bits and pieces to do. Um, my usual strategy when I'm attacking Britain is to land in Ireland, and then take, then take Scotland, then take... London itself at the end. I think that could be a very good option. Because those regions are very valuable, they provide other areas we can escape to on the continent away from the AI. And right now it looks like Prussia's probably got its hands full fighting around uh, the around northern Italy, and I, I need to check, actually, who they're at war with. So I think it's probably a matter of some urgency I research fire by rank. Because I do not want to get left behind. Yep, that's Division of Labour. So let's try and get a sneaky upgrade at Malta. Especially if the Ottomans aren't going to push. So you've been repaired. You're all happy. You can probably get roads as well to help you grow even quicker. You've got a boardy house. But that's just here to keep these guys happy. Until seven turns, we might build another school. Let's send these guys over to take Gibraltar. Let's retake this city. And Spain right now is on the bones of its ass. It has not got the ability 
to defend itself. Um, they've lost Naples. The only re I'm pretty sure the only regions they've got are um, Sardinia and Milan in northern Italy. But even then, Prussia has is gunning for Milan, so I wouldn't feel too happy about it if I were them. So let's mix the militia in. with our selection so that we can provide some overlapping support with our real infantry. Obviously they've deployed back in the city. Causes problems for their artillery because uh, yeah. yeah you're gonna have to fire a very precise shot to get that to ricochet through the windows. Um, let's run my troops and also speed up time because they are coming up to meet us. So they've got Colonial Light, Pikemen, which look very cool. Okay, first militia unit approaching on the flank with their trumpeter. Let's see how much trumpeting he does with a uh, musket ball stuck into his face. I am looking at buying a replica Baker rifle at some point because they're just so goddamn awesome. It's probably not going to be for another few months. I'm of that age where I've got lots of things to pay for, well, lots of things to save up for. You don't really want to. You want to spend them. You want to spend all your money having fun. Um, still waiting on my 3080. Like pretty much like most people. Yeah, got a soundbug, so it's not doing the clang. Let these men march up normally. I do you like the Spanish line infantry? Spanish flags are always pretty nice as well. The standards look really good. Hey, these guys have a drummer. They didn't even have bayonets. Well, I suppose they lost their school rather early on. I wonder who too. Okay, let's get some artillery support for the flank. Push these guys up. Let's fire into the flank of the pikemen. Let's get my cavalry around to the rear. Get ready to charge their artillery. They're probably going to come back. They've only lost 50 men. Okay, the line battle has been engaged. The Spaniards are falling very quickly. Pushing up into the line, it's not going to do them any good. They will be felled by our elite infantry. And it is elite now. Our infantry, even our militiamen, are just very good. Charge the pikemen. The militias would come back on the flank. Let's fold these guys in on the flanks of the pikemen because obviously they are pikemen. Know how they be. Pikemen are really good. Let's deploy our cavalry to go hit the 10th Regiment of Militia. 
There we go, they're starting to fall thick and fast now. Granted they're doing damage to us, but uh, I think... Okay, no, you don't, don't charge them. Because there is a cavalry defence there. But I am sufficiently happy that the flank isn't going to recover to do something like that. Looks like they can charge their militia in to help. Ooh, I guess it help their uh, pikemen. Obviously, uh, what are the, the unit that got the brunt of the charge is down to 130 men. Pokemon are down to less than half strength. Let's get our... Let's, let's, let's monitor our cavalry rather than just sending them onto, uh, into random attack orders. First Colonials have decided to come back with only 99 men remaining. The drummer's still drumming. Well, the drummer's drumming now. He was piping earlier. Let's check out the Grenadiers. Doing pretty good. Not too sure about the white on the back. I'm not sure if blues. Proper colour for Spanish Grenadiers, but that might just be being stereotypical and stupid. But maybe the designers got a bit fed up of having just just white as a usable as a usable colour, and just went, no, you know what? We're going to put some blue guys in there. Once our men took their position up on the hill. Let's pivot the artillery to engage the militia. Let's send in these guys to charge down the infantry in the centre. got enough of a position on the flank to help us out. So I'm fire well off here just to make sure I don't kill a bunch of my own men. Okay. Now fire it well. Should time it just right. Once their men get into position. Some of them did open fire. Change the artillery to hit the light horse. Swarm the militia. All sides. Marines, line infantry, militia. Everyone. Okay, all these guys are going to open up onto the light cavalry. Which would be lovely. Got some moves coming in. Second regiment. 
present. And fire. Oh, they're firing at the uh, militia. I suppose because they're routing. There we go. This poor person's house. Yeah, that's a, that's a good capture of the city there. For not very men lost. Gibraltar is ours. And let's also kick the navy out of the port. Good stuff. Someone have a northern port grow, which will probably become a trade port. But let's hit enter. While we swap some agents over. I wonder if 5,000 profit is enough to... Uh, is enough to get a... Oh, I might try and make peace with Spain, actually. Considering they're at war with... Oh, no. <laughs> this is like the doom. The doom. Okay. Oh, God. The, the Ottomans have finally landed on Malta as well. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay. This, this could be good or bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is very much it. It looked like it was going very well, but... Mm, the Ottomans have finally landed. Be probably because the Spanish blockaded the port. And they're not, they're, not, they're not at war with Spain, so they can probably enter the control zone of Malta now. Which is why they were able to land troops. Maybe they didn't want to land troops if they had to sail within my area of control. If that makes sense. Well, so we don't have to worry about this blockade for very long. Spain, 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 Spain. Do not want to make peace one bit. You build my army. March north. Gibraltar is not a priority. Okay, now we're getting about three grand overall. Try to take out the general. Not too bad. Okay, my plans in Morocco have gone for a duck. They demand Spain for peace. No. Okay, let us get some infantry. Hmm. I I feel a certain affinity with my plan to run away to Britain now. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Especially if the Ottomans are going to take Malta, finally. Um, because our new capital will become Madrid. So is this when it happens? <laughs> Somewhat overkill. Uh, to be honest, I'd probably wager my chances of holding on to this. No, I, no, I wouldn't. Nah, the, the melee infantry would... Mortars are rubbish and this isn't enough men. Let's... There goes my... <laughs> oh no! Go away! Leave us alone! This is what I thought would happen if I just let them have Malta originally. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> the Ottomans, the bane of my existence. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How about... Do I just give up, give up Madrid? Do I just give it up and do I just sail and attack 
England. Because <laughs> now Madrid's our capital. So we are getting, well, we were getting trade. We're not probably, eh, no, we could, well, to be honest, we could beat both of these armies. We're getting quite a good garrison in Madrid. But I would probably rather boost my main force. Maybe even with two units of hussars. So we've built drill school. You guys get on to fire by rank rapidly. Let's repair the port here. Set these guys to recruit a sloop to go into Cadiz. Because if they attacked there, they would have knocked us out. Pretty pants navy, but it's a better navy than we've got. And this army is about to come join them. Um, our troops may rebel <laughs> on Malta, on Valletta. We're only at 1800 cash. I'm pretty sure, worst come to the worst, we could sprint up to Ireland. But the problem is, we need to be able to hold um, Madrid as well. Because if I sprint to up to Ireland, we may end up just losing a bunch of... We just lose a lot of troops due to attrition. See, if I could get up to that bridge, that would be great. Because there's a chance, I think, that a small... If we could defeat their armies that are invading us, that might be enough for them to call time on attacking us. But we've also got to bear in mind we do have Prussia bearing down on us. I'm pretty sure if I move my cavalry into this army, then move up to here, you may intercept us. Yep, yeah, but it's not a problem. Um, because we know how river battles go, the AI is very dumb. Uh, we could we could forge a crossing and be fairly okay. I think I do. I really do think, especially if we can attack these armies individually, like what they're doing, we will be able to eventually forge a peace because they've taken they've taken Malta. That's really what they were what they were aspiring to for so long. Oh no, just a pitched battle. Okay, let's march these guys up onto the ridge. So we've got a slightly newer, or more up-to-date force with cavalry. With more cavalry than we previously had, better quality infantry. of cavalry fair share of pretty pants um, infantry like lots of their cavalry can be dealt with through just square formation but they have sufficient cavalry They have sufficient cavalry that we may end up not really wanting to leave our cavalry too exposed on the wings. But at the very least, it is rather nice of them to uh, leave their artillery in such a relatively exposed position. 
all of artillery's opened up. Damn, that's a hellfire. No, <laughs> uh, don't need to call square for that. Well, no, not, not sorry, not call square. Bring in our cavalry for that. That is fine. Dropping explosive shot onto us, which, as we know, is just not great. Literally, the horsemen are winning slightly. I don't think that's likely. Square as well. Keep these infantry units in square because it looks like they're continuing their cavalry charge on the left. Drop into square, you go after the Pandawa, you guys pivot like so. So these Janissaries are going to get shot in the flanks, so I'm not worried about them. It's a lot of cavalry. Let's to push our own. Cavalry route on the flank. Warm artillery to pound you there, you guys. Good damn. They broke hard. But yeah, lots over there. Firing by rank. Yep, that's concerning. But not massively surprising. Push the push the flank until we've got men that can deal with. Um, so we've got men to push from this direction against the Israeli. I don't want to charge my cavalry forward either. I want to hold my cavalry. To deal with the to deal with the enemy, to deal with the enemy infantry blobs, not so much the uh, not so much the enemy cavalry. units go after the Janissaries. We'll go after the Israeli because they're pretty that's a pretty beefy unit. I should really be applying the general here as well. If 
finish off that Janissary unit. Same with you. You try to take them out. Artillery fire. Everyone else is occupied. Occupied with some sort of slaughter or another. Damn, they're gonna they're going to escape. But I don't want them to. Um, who's left then? So you're killing You were killing everyone. All my cavalry is on these last 131 men. Slice and dice. Take him out. Let's bring one unit over here. run them into him and hope they uh, just totally kill him I think they have yes damn right it was decisive stupid smelly almonds they think they can come over here and kill me take my land I stole from someone else I don't think so get on the bridge punish your men We may even need to send... Okay. Reconnaissance. With a sloop. I know it was, going to go, it was originally going to go into that port, but uh, I'm going to send him on reconnaissance. Okay, can't get, I can't get eyes on on London. But I can get eyes on Ireland. Maybe. Pronti a ripartire. Non possiamo arrivarci, capitano. Qualche ordine? Pronti a virare. So Ireland is a, is, is a target. What about Glasgow? Glasgow's a bit more defended, but they don't get much of a garrison. Okay. We've had a look. We've had a look. We've held off the bad guys for a time gonna lose that sloop but that's okay but now we're on the bridge we are we're in a position to do a huge amount of damage to the to the to the ottomans if they march towards us which i hope they do because then we can engage in a river fight i mean i Am I silly in thinking those are just coming straight for me? Because I don't think I am silly. <laughs> I think it may end up being in my best strategic interest to retreat to Britain. <gasps> yes. Yes. Go north, Ottomans. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is pretty good. If you couldn't tell from my demeanour. Because it means that they're not necessarily just after me. And I may be able to get peace with them. With it. Maybe. 
especially if we have a common enemy. So let's try get. Oh. They are blocking our port, which is super annoying. Even though it's not a very good, even though it's not a very good army that's sat here blocking it. Unless they're just going to go. If I fall back to here, will they change the direction? Oh, they're allied with Prussia. Damn it. Ah, oh, that potential. I mean, if they're allied with Prussia, we got to bail. Surely, we got to bail and, like, go after London. We've got to take a new home. <laughs> like, I mean, we got it, right? We've just got to, because, uh, you know, the Prussians are allied with all of Europe. Russia, Morocco, Britain, the Ottomans, Mughal Empire, United Provinces. There's a giant, there is a, just a giant coalition. Russia, Britain, the Ottomans, the Mughals, the Ottomans. Prussia. Russia, Austria, the Ottomans, the Mughals. Like, the United Provinces are pushing, but goddamn. I don't think I'm crazy if I say I need to just run to London. Take this army, get aboard ship, try to build up a garrison in Spain to hold them off so we don't lose the region completely, but try and take Dublin, Edinburgh and London. I think that's got to be my option, because at least I can defend th this area a bit more. And maybe make peace. Like, if I take the peninsula and I've not lost the, lost the region, maybe I could make peace by giving it away. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.